MP Filtry manufacture a complete line of contamination monitoring products for a wide range of industries. The products are generally used with mineral-based oils, as well as specialised phosphate ester fluids. The LPA2 is the portable service tool. This DVD shows us how to use this unit. This DVD is for guidance only. Please refer to your user guide, which is also available on our dedicated website, hydraulicparticlecounter.com, for full details. The LPA2 is presented in a lightweight, portable, yet durable case. When you first receive the unit prior to use, connect the power adapter as shown and charge for 24 hours to ensure that the internal NICAD rechargeable battery is fully charged. The power supply is located on the right side of the unit, below the RS-232 data port and adjacent to the external alarm socket, both of which will be explained later. To view the unit proficiently, convert the feet to the upright position. Once the lid is opened, the panel inside contains your user guide, the quick start user guide, calibration certificate, external alarm socket instructions, and USB to serial port data software. The lid can be removed from the main unit as shown. The battery charge light will be illuminated. This is the display screen, thermal printer, QWERTY keyboard, flush valve and on and off buttons. To carry out an online test, connect the waste fluid hose to the unit. The other end of the hose should be placed in a suitable waste container. Now connect the microbore hose supplied to the LPA2. The opposite end should be connected to a standard M16 times 2 test point on the system you're testing. The system requirement for online operation is minimum of 2 bar or 29 psi, maximum 400 bar or 6000 psi. The viscosity should be between 1 and 400 centistokes. The unit now can be switched on. The display screen will illuminate. This will show your next test reference, next test number, type of test, unit status, empty progress bar and menu options. There is also a low battery indicator. This will only be illuminated if the battery requires recharging. Numbers 1 to 8 on your keyboard correspond to your main options. 1 starts a test. 2 stops the test. 3 activates the printer. 4 is your printer feed. 5 selects operation screen. 6 selects your software options. And 7 and 8 adjust your backlight intensity. You will now need to set your LPA2 to your test requirements. Press 5. The operation screen will appear. Numbers 1 to 7 on your keyboard correspond to the options shown on the screen. Enter your test reference by selecting 1. 15 characters are your maximum entry. Press Return. The test reference is now displayed. By pressing 2, you're able to reset your test number. Press Return. The test number will now be displayed. If the test number is not adjusted, the LPA2 will automatically increase by 1 after each test. To adjust the time and date, select 3. Use options 1 to 6 to adjust accordingly and press Return. To exit menu 3, press 0. You're able to adjust your result presentation options on the printout and internal memory by pressing 4. Use options 1 to 6 to adjust accordingly. Option 1 in this menu changes your various cleanliness standards. Continue to repeat. Press 1 for either ISO 4406, NAS 1638 or AS 4059. By pressing 2 to 5 options allows you to select or deselect certain requirements. There are several languages available. This can be determined by selecting your appropriate language shown on option 6. This option will only be activated when the machine has been switched off and on. 
To exit menu 4, press 0. Back on the main menu, selecting 5 gives you your type of test option. To view test types, press button 5 repeatedly. Typically, the normal or continuous option is the standard for an online test. Whilst the LPA2 is in continuous mode, the flush valve will operate automatically between tests. Please refer to the user guide. To set up your continuous test configuration, select button 6 or 7, test options or alarm options, and refer to your user guide. Within the test options screen, button 6, you're able to select or deselect your moisture and temperature option, if applicable from number 7. By selecting this option, the test time will increase by 3 minutes and the flush valve will automatically start at the beginning of your test. To exit menu 5, press 0. At this stage, check your screen to review your selected options. Once you have set up your LPA2, you are now ready to take a sample. Check your system is operating normally and at working temperature. On the LPA2, press the flush valve. This will illuminate and indicate flushing on the main screen. Leave the valve open for at least 1 minute or 200 millilitres. This is to ensure any entrapped air and or fluid from any previous test is removed, eliminating cross-contamination. Flushing time and volume may vary, depending on length of microbore pressure hose used. After flushing, deselect the flush valve and select 1. The screen will initially display emptying and then sampling. A progress bar will indicate test in operation. Once progress bar has completed, a result will be displayed and the printer will be activated if selected. For your results interpretation, refer to your user guide or our website, hydraulicparticlecounter.com. The emptying cycle will begin. The test is now complete, and once the emptying cycle has finished, the screen will show idle. The unit is now ready to make another test. Once your test has been completed, Disconnect the fluid sampling hose from the system before disconnecting from the LPA2. This will isolate the fluid supply. Then disconnect all other connections. Please ensure all your hoses and connectors are suitably stowed. To switch the unit off and conserve your battery, select the orange zero button. Use our bottle sampling options should online testing be unavailable. There's a set procedure for taking oil samples from systems. Refer to ISO standard 3372 for full details. The recommended test for this option is the triple bottle sampling option shown in the setup menu under test type button 5. For consistent results, we would recommend that prior to bottle sampling, both the bottle sampler and the LPA2 should be flushed with an appropriate cleaning fluid. Please refer to your user guide. Connect the power supply to the bottle sampler. The sampler unit uses the short microbore hose provided within the bottle sampler kit. The hose should be connected to the LPA2 and the pressure cap of the bottle sampler. Connect the waste hose on the LPA2 as previously shown. Remove the pressure cap, placing into a suitable container to protect the cap from contaminant. The oil sample should be vigorously shaken for at least 30 seconds prior to test. Put the sample bottle into the sampler and secure the vacuum cap. Select On and then select Vacuum. This is the deaeration process. Viscosity and temperature can affect the time taken to deaerate the fluid. Whilst the deaeration is in progress, Fit a new disposable tube into the pressure cap. Once this process is complete, switch the bottle sampler off and select sample position. Remove the vacuum cap 
and fit the pressure cap complete with the tube. Turn the unit on and allow 10 seconds for pressure to stabilize. A minimum of 50 milliliters of oil is required after flushing. Select flush valve on the LPA2. Depending on viscosity, flush times may vary, though a typical flush time is 20 seconds. You're now ready to start your test as previously shown. Do not switch off the bottle sampler until the test and emptying cycle is complete. The LPA2 has CD software called LPA View and appropriate leads provided. Please read your guide for installation and user information. This software allows you to monitor your information in depth and trend analysis. For downloading and retrieving data from the LPA2, press button 6 on your keyboard. A menu selection will appear. 1 refers to transferring information from the LPA2 memory to your computer using the leads supplied connected to the RS-232 connection. 2 on your menu will clear the log. It's important to save your data prior to clearing your log. By pressing button 3, you will clear your last test taken. If you press button 4, you will be able to recall any information from the internal memory. This is up to 600 tests. Press 5 to print your selected log. Press 0 to return to your main menu. This concludes your user information. For further details, please contact our technical sales department or refer to your user guide supplied with your LPA2. The LPA2 is just one product in the CMP product line. MP Filtry also manufacture a complete line of hydraulic filtration, accessory and mechanical components.